Hello everyone, I'm back with some more journals I wanted to share. Um, I have a couple journals here. They are very similar but different at the same time. A lot of them is the same, just a different style of the same thing. These are um, kind of concept journals as while I was in the manner of speaking that as I was creating them I created a story that went along with them. Um, it, sometimes it helps me to get a certain feel or something about a book and that's what happened with these two so um, my story that goes along with these is that this is these are books that two sisters had um, they were born late 1800s and they grew up sort of um, through the um, the end of the Victorian age into the Edwardian period and they were um, seamstresses as when as they were growing up they um, took on jobs creating designs and sewing dresses for other ladies and doing mending and hemming jobs and things like that um, so these books are their journals as well as sewing kits that they took with them to um, people's houses to develop designs or take measurements or what have you so they are sewing kits as well as journals. I think I already said that. Anyways, I don't want to drag this out too much. So we have two sisters. They have two different personalities. We have Cecilia, who is very outgoing. Hers is the brighter, bolder journal. She's outgoing. She's very friendly. She likes to be the center of attention. She's the life of the party when she's um, around. Annette is her older sister. She's more mature, a little bit more um, demure in her um, uh, her personality. She's reserved. She doesn't like being the center of attention. She doesn't want anyone to necessarily pay attention to her. She, she has a, um, more reserved style, very classic, simple style. She likes things that are functional as well as pretty. Cece, Cecilia, she likes to go by Cece. She often prefers things to look pretty and be outlandish and really extravagant whether they're of use or not <laughs> it's not more functionality um and cc calls annette netty she doesn't really like it but she only allows her sister to call her netty um okay so we're just going to get into the books here we will start with cecilia's she is of course outgoing so she keeps a calling card right here in this front pocket so that she can um, give that to anyone that she meets with her name on it so they can remember her um, she has decorated this front pocket here with some laces and vintage very vintage buttons we have a fabric covered wood button and a shell button and suddenly the name of that button is escaping me the type of shell I know what it is but anyways <laughs> Um, we have some seam binding here wrapped around another very old button, which has been carved. It's a very pretty design. And it has kind of a pink tint, which it goes with the, um, back, the fabric of the cover. So, in these journals I did a lot of sewing, a lot more sewing than normal. Because they belong to seamstresses, I didn't figure that they would create a book. They would sew anything that was unfinished. So it has finished edges. It has this um, quilting type effect on the cover as well, where I have taken quilt batting and put it between my layers of fabric and gave it a nice feel like a quilt would have. And then did this stitching across in a, um, uh, what I don't know what that's like kind of a crosshatch I guess it's the only word I can think of at the moment and then I took this vintage lace which I got from an estate sale and um, sewed it around the edges to kind of hem it so there was no rough edges sort of like what um, like on a quilt would be used um, what is it called hem not it's not hem tape or uh, never mind, I can't think of what it's called. But she has this very bright floral pattern on hers, which is very um, uh, much her personality. And she has a bright uh, floral pocket here as well with some vintage lace. She has a garment pin with some sequins on it just to have on hand if she needs to make a repair. In this little pocket, she keeps her tools of her trade. And she has a... Um, this is an antique pair of scissors. It is not a reproduction. It, it did come from an antique shop and it is very old. So 
those come with that and they are quite pointy so do be careful putting them in and out of the pocket and she also has a needle book in there as well and it is also made with bright florals on the inside I mean the outside as well as the inside there's a little lace pocket here in the front and the back and this is some seam binding in a um, kind of a maroon color a bit a bundle of seam binding there and her needle um, package which still has some needles in it and this is not a reproduction I didn't print it and cut it out it is an actual needle case I'm not sure how old it is but it is fairly old and that goes there. there's a little brass button in case she needs that to button some I mean pin it's not a button <laughs> there are some needles in here as well as some straight pins for doing some hemming and some vintage lace and she keeps some buttons back here in case she needs them and her needle threader so that is here in this pocket and I will I'll tie all that up later that goes there in the pocket over here she likes to keep her favorite hanky and a stick pin which she pinned it in with and these are um, I say these because there are two of them they each have one hand I believe this one is hand embroidered on a um, hanky that had some embroidery on it already I think that's what it looks like to me it looks like maybe someone had added to that but either way it is very pretty and I really like it and it is very bright and colorful and very much CC's style <laughs> so we have some lace here with a vintage image um, some uh, uh, flower I don't even know what those are called embellishments I guess is what they will be called a vintage crochet doily this is a cardstock cover in the notebook and what's different about this book it's not it is not stitched into the cover it is simply slipped under a ribbon and this one has a like a peach organza ribbon and it can be untied and the book can be taken out a new book can be put in and replace it the ribbon is stitched into onto the spine so it is um, a part of the book it's not going to go anywhere and the this book is just very much very much CC it's very bright colorful lots of floral patterns and um, it suits her personality here we have a some vintage image and oh excuse me and a decal applique sorry <laughs> we have a very old button card with all but one of the original buttons on it an old postcard which doesn't have any writing on it but it is quite old and it has the um, the embossed flower on the cover it's very bright we have some fabric tabs along the edge this is some um, decoupage with a, nip a napkin sorry <laughs> fabric cluster here with some laces and fabrics she likes to use this book to develop ideas um, when she has them certain fabrics that she likes to go together we have some more um, just collage here with napkin and pattern tissue paper a vintage image some lace this is a wallpaper pocket a floral paper tag here everything or nearly everything except some of these papers here has been coffee dyed this is a um, theater some ephemera that she would have picked up at a theater because she likes to go to the theater <coughs> I think I'm fighting a little bit of a cold um, she also dreams of someday pr um, creating costumes for the actresses in the theater and actors she wants to go that direction with her um, her sewing that's that's her dream that she wants to do and there's a little bit of a fabric fabric remnant slip there a little fabric tuck here with a coupon for a pattern for this very frilly lace collar another very old postcard with these beautiful roses on it and it's got kind of a metallic blue background it says happy birthday this one I'll just tell you is 1910 so it is very old there's a small pocket here with 
in this little cluster of fabric and some ephemera and a little tag with an, an advertisement for a sewing machine. Another collage. This is a, a design that she's working on. She has some swatches of fabric here that she has been um, putting together and she has lightly written um, and I did I did write this with my own handwriting. It's not great. I don't have beautiful Victorian age handwriting. I wish I did, but <laughs> I wrote it on there with pencil and then I lightly erased it to make it look old and faded. And it is just describing the different fabrics and how she wants to use them in the dress that she is making for a friend of hers. Another fabric tag, or sorry, tab. Some trim and fabric here, which makes a tuck spot for this coupon for some hats. I guess it would be like an order, order slip. Here she has an envelope with an invitation in it to a cotillion, which she went to, and she wants to keep that as a um, some memorabilia. There's some vintage image of a sewing machine and some more um, just collage there. Some vintage laces. Here that make a pocket with this little journal card in it and a tuck spot behind that as well with a vintage image of a postcard just printed out and that opens for lots of writing. Over here we have a pocket. I really love this lady's dress. It has red polka dots on it. Hopefully you can see that clearly and it has, I paired it with this bright red, um, whatever this is called, <laughs> blanket. What would it be called? Blanket? <laughs> bias tape. That's what it's called. Bias tape. And I really love that combination together. It's a little journaling card there. That's, um, some more fabric um, that was cut for a quilt. Just um, collaged with that. Another collage here. Some more fabric that she has put together in a, um, a design that she's working on. Some more collage, piece of fabric here, stitched to the edge, and this opens a catalog advertisement there. Uh, uh, clipped to this was this picture. She really likes this picture. It kind of embodies how she feels about herself. She's outgoing. She loves flowers. Very pretty image there of a lady. Some very um, old artwork. Fabric tabs, a little circus ticket pass that she kept there on that in that ruffle. This here is a glassine bag which I did some collage on the front of, and in here she keeps some pictures of actresses because, like I said, she wants to create these more elaborate costumes and such for actresses on stage and also on the um, the silver screen as we're entering that era. Um. A, I can't think, an advertisement for a book that she wants to order and read. And the other side of that wallpaper pocket with some collaged fabric. This is a printout of a, an old um, card for thread. Sewing machine image. Here's a tuck spot here with some collage, some old um, wallpaper and lace. And a calling card which she has received from someone, and a little journaling card. Lots of coffee dyed papers, lots of room to write still in these journals, but also very um, decorated. Some more lace here on this back pocket. There's my little stamp I put in the back of each one, and here are a couple of receipts that she would keep on hand just to give to customers as she needs to. So this one was CC's. Hers is very bright and floral and um, just full of life. Um, Annette, on the other hand, she was a bit more mature and she, um, she kind of took care of the important bits of the business and she took care of those sort of things. She was the more responsible one. Of course, she was the oldest sister, so she took care of her younger sister as she should. A bit of crochet lace here and some... Um, seam binding. It's also closed with seam binding. Another 
um, pin here with some sequins on it. And as you already saw, here is her antique scissors that she kept in her sewing kit, or with her sewing kit, and her needle book. Hers is much um, more muted colors, but it's still very pretty. It has this lace overlay, this fillet crochet, which has an image here of a tree and a woman and a little, looks like an animal dog possibly, and another figure of a person. Inside she also has her little needle case, which still has the needles in it, or some of, anyways. Should probably mess with that later, but anyways. Some little seam binding, a brass pin, she even has an extra little snap here that she can use on clothing if she needs to. She has a threaded needle in here because she's ready to sew on a button if she needs to. She has some extra buttons and her little needle thread threader is still in its little paper case that she bought it in. And I will tie that back up later. But those are here in her pocket. And this one is made the same way. It has a ribbon sewn to the spine to hold the book in. So you can just untie it or just slip it out if you need to. There's also a hanky, very pretty, um, like a dusty peach color, and a rose stick pin. She has a child here on her front cover, which is a, a business uh, trading card for thread with some lace and music paper. Her focus is a lot on family she wants to marry and have children and she's looking forward to that and she's planning for the future with kids a label here with some fabric a button card um with all of the original buttons on it she has a ledger paper here because like i said she handles the finances of the business she also has her calling card to give to someone a just a printout of some Vintage floral pattern tucked into this lace. Vintage image there. A fabric cluster here because she also likes to put fabrics together and create designs in her book. Vintage wallpaper pocket here with a printout of some, some ideas that she can make for the autumn fair. She's planning ahead for the a fair that they're going to be selling some items at and she's getting ideas for that. Here's a tuck spot with this um, vintage floral pattern as well and some lace. This is a vintage postcard um, with the pretty scene on it and some flowers. This one, it's kind of harder to read. I believe it's 19... You know, I'm not really going to say. I can't say for sure what the year is on that one. But it is quite old and it is also embossed. So it has raised flowers on it. Bit of collage pocket here. She has a tag or a ticket where she has bought, and s bought some fabric, some coupons for patterns and hats that she would like to get. Some more tabs. A little paper ruffle here with a, the, um, what, what is that called? I called it the wrong thing the first time. The applique. And I put a little button on there. <laughs> oh my. Um, little booklet here it says beautiful gems of thoughts and sentiment she is sentimental and she likes to keep little sayings that she's heard in there she also has an envelope in hers which has a love letter in it because like I said she is interested in marrying and having children there is someone that she is seeing but they haven't proposed yet she's just kind of waiting to see if he feels the same way about her the love letter leads her to think that he does, but he still is, he's still waiting and she's getting impatient. <laughs> a collage here with some pattern paper and uh, an image. This is a um, style that she's working on. She's putting together with some fabrics and crocheted lace and an image there. This, I, she has not written any notes about it, but I believe it is something for herself. A dress that she is planning to make someday. 
we have a little um, catalog advertisement there and she's kept a receipt from market where she has gone and gotten some things for the house um, and here you can see the blue ribbon which holds the book in here she has kept an advertisement for a shawl she wants to make something similar to that because it, it looks um, fashionable but functional at the same time pretty pocket here with some lace of a remnant slip with and some pattern paper behind that a little collage here a little double tuck spot here with some lace a vintage image and a calling card behind that is an um a label for some sewing machine oil this flips out it has sari silk stitched to the a ruffle there stitched to the side and it's a vintage image of a winter scene there that she really likes and she wants to keep that in her book a little fabric flip there she likes this farm scene she um, plans to one day live in the country this is a glassine bag which I have done a collage on with some napkin and music paper and a vintage image behind that she has tucked a pattern for a little girl's dress that she would like to make for her daughter someday and inside the glassing bag is a vintage image of a postcard. Another collage with some wallpaper and an image. Another advertisement and a journaling card tucked in there. The other side of the wallpaper pocket with the fabric. And she has a, a more modern lady here in a style that she's considering that she may like. It's not too over the top. It's pretty simple, but very modern and fashionable. And a journaling card there with a floral pattern. Vintage image. And she has a picture of a little girl in here, or a young girl, I would say, that she hopes that her daughter looks similar to that someday. Hopefully there isn't a glare. And she loves the long flowing hair and the color, and she really hopes her daughter looks that way someday another journaling card and the receipts and there's my stamp on the back and an organza uh, ribbon ruffle okay and there's hers and you can see hers is also quilted on both sides it has a uh, I don't know what that pattern is called it has a pattern on the inside and the twill pattern on the outside in this pale blue color little bits of lint everywhere of course but these are um, the sewing journals that I made, and I hope you like those. Excuse me, and they will be listed in my... Oh, excuse me. They will be listed in my Etsy shop here shortly, probably by the time this video is up. I do thank you all for watching and commenting and letting me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Bye.